Nigerian actor Timini Egusun in trouble as his ex-girlfriend calls him out, calls him a cradle snatcher predator and also promises to deal with him when next they see. Hi guys and welcome again to this channel. In this video, let's talk about the Bruaha that Nigerian actor and sweetheart to many people, Timini Egusin has found himself into. Remember that sometimes ago he was in the news for cheating scandal for allegedly cheating on this same ex-girlfriend now. Lydia Balogun is ex-girlfriend of about two years, who was 19 years old when they actually met, has come online in a series of tweets to explain what happened between them and how Timini Egusin meddled with her situationship and emotionally scarred her. According to her and in her own words, as much as we want to believe that it is okay for a girl boy to get romantically sexually involved with someone in their 30s, Timini Egusun is actually 33, for those of you wondering, 34 now, or significantly older as long as they are legal. It really isn't. I'll tell you from personal experience that it is absolutely not okay. Timini Egusun, you are a predator, you are a cradle snatcher, you are a pervert and an all-round terrible person. Meeting this man, I had no clue of his sexual past or who he had been involved with. They didn't know anyone from a social circle and no, I know that is not intentional. When he told me he'd make an exception for me, despite how young I was, I was like 19. I actually believed that and thought, wow, he must really like me. To anyone in a similar situation with any man, <laughs> girl, you're not special. He doesn't like you. You've just fit the standard. You didn't meet him coincidentally. He went after you. He is a predator. Don't let them steal your peace or youth because they will frustrate you. I was completely new to the dating scene in Lagos, had no understanding of Nigerian men or knew anything. This is what all the other girls were speaking about that year. It was so easy to see them as bitter and that's what many people called them. I will probably call me but I know send your papa. Because the things I was hearing weren't normal. Only for you to still be dragging my name in the mud. Still going out of your way to hurt me. Imagine me calling Timini to confront him about these things and he exploded as he usually does. This man called me a harlot and told me no one could ever love me again. And how I'm a joke because I've slept with the whole of Lagos and I should go and myself. Now the first time, this is not the first time he's calling me names but I am completely livid considering how much i know about him now timini you have and i mean this so literally slept with everything breathing in lagos and abuja and you think for one second that you can't slot shame me it's the irony for me but more seriously it was another traumatic day because how can you tell a person who you are aware of their suicidal past to go end their own life this was just last week Something I've been so open about. You are not a victim to me. You are a monster. I've held back from making the statements because I didn't want to look stupid. But I'm not embarrassed to say I have learned my lesson. This man is fully aware that he took advantage of my naiveness. And is doing the same to other girls. And I thought he wouldn't do anything about it. He told me I can't do anything about it because of this. Because I never thought I would actually speak of. Get me lit, mother effa. Now, guys... If you are wondering what happened, remember that earlier in the week, Timini Egbusun took to his Twitter handle to say, I don't come out my hand from anything getting to know you. Everybody decreased. And we thought, at least I thought so, just is normal cruise taking on social media. And someone was even like, ah, at least 19 to 21 year old children will rest. Someone even said 17 year old because it does them young. 17 year old will actually rest. Right. Now, this same girl was involved in the cheating scandal that rocked Timini's world some times ago, but this biased statesman did not see anything when the whole thing happened. It was a trending item on Twitter for more than 10 hours after his girlfriend, that is, is now ex Lydia, and another girl got into a fight on the social media platform. It was Toju, the girl that was fighting Lydia, who took to Twitter to allege that Lydia wanted to fight them for having an affair with her popular boyfriend. Toju said, You don't want me to have peace, you won't have peace, you want to rake, please come actually do it. What the hell did I do to you? Go and control your man. Don't try me. When you see me pull up on me, Lydia, let's end this peer beg. If you point at me one more time in public, I will destroy your face. I've been freeing your stupid, but you know, leave me. I slept with your, bo with your boyfriend. Are you the first? You want to fight me? You really want that smoke? Yes, I slept with him. Not once and not twice. You can ask him. Then <laughs> the drama caused reactions on Twitter at the time because the actor was 
trending for a long time they were dating actually for a while Lydia and himself and then the relationship was actually always under scrutiny because people felt it is totally unnecessary or called for for a then 33 year old man to be dating a 19 year old girl but the elevator baby actor remained silent over the issue and he didn't say anything about him Simini Agboson is a Nigerian actor is a producer and also a digital car creator and of course the crush of many nigerian girls because of his boyish charm and the way he talks that so many people love about him he is now 34 years old he's from Bayelsa state and he graduated from the university of lagos he actually got into limelight because he wanted to follow his sister's footpath before then he was in the corporate world he started acting in 2010 on mnet soap opera tin cell after which he joined the cast of MTV Sugar, which was initiated in order to raise awareness to the in the global fa- fla- um, fight to flatten the COVID-19 curve and also an HIV destigmatization TV series that was going on. After that, he has actually acted in a lot of movies since coming into limelight in 2010. MTV Sugar, 50, Something Wicked, Isoken, The Missing Piece, Intern, Elevator Baby, which earned him awards actually. The Breaded Life, Dwayne Do, Juju Stories is featured in so many TV shows, Skinny Girl in Transit, Ten Cell, 50 The Series, among others. In April of 2020, that was when he joined MTV Sugar cast, like I was saying, is the brother to Nigerian super actress Dakore Akonde. He's won awards such as the Best New Actor of the Year in 2017. The Future Awards Africa Prize for Acting, the Best Actor in a Drama Movie TV Series in the 2020 AMVC Awards, and recently the 2021 Net Honors Most Popular Actor. Now, that is the end of this video, guys. Thank you for joining. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, subscribe, and of course, in the comment section, let me know what you think about Timini Egwissons and of course about older men going for younger girls just like lydia said it's it's been romanticized people think it's a fair thing because girls mature but guy babe if any man is telling you you're mature for your age and you're 18 and the man is 30 something run away run away he knows what he's doing he's just trying to you know take advantage of you let's be careful out there guys i'll see you in the next video people bye